block. I'd like to thank the deputies from People for Profit Solidarity for bringing forward this motion. As we head into the winter, many more families and workers will be facing a winter of unbelievable stress. Many thousands are fearing the letter from the landlord and the knowledge that the chances of them getting somewhere in the so-called free market is virtually impossible. I, like many colleagues, and I'm sure your office also gets representations on a weekly basis from people who are desperate to find out what the next steps are. What do they do? How can we help them to ensure that they don't end up in homeless accommodation? Recently, an older retired person lived with her daughter in rented accommodation the landlord is selling. She's never been on the housing list and has always rented. Her notice of termination is due to fall in December the 31st. Due to health reasons, they can't move down to the countryside. They need to be close down uh, to the hospital that they're involved in. And cases like these, and I'm sure they play on your mind, but they certainly play on our mind. And we're constantly concerned and worried about these people who are facing uh, homelessness. We have people who are overholding, terrified the day is coming soon when they'll be facing homeless accommodation. And there are so many people now who are overholding who are going to be working through that process through the RTB. And I can reel off case after case, and I know you can as well. And that's why I find the resistance to this uh, eviction ban puzzling. It's clear from the statistics that this government has lost control of the homelessness crisis as levels of homelessness continue to rise. And the statistics pointed out by Deputy O'Brien are absolutely shocking. Minister, you said last year, the Minister said last year, Minister O'Brien said, the aim of the emergency winter ban, eviction ban is to afford time for housing supply to increase and to reduce the burden on homelessness and services and, pr and the pressure on tenants and the residential tenancies market. The ra reality is that the figures prove is that homeless services are still overboard, housing supply has not increased and the cliff edge facing many of these tenants is adding huge pressure. We support the reintroduction of the ban on no-fault evictions as part of an emergency response to reduce the number of people in emergency accommodation and falling into homelessness. Next week, Deputy Rim will once again outline our ambitious plans for commencing the largest public housing building programme in the history of the state, which will deliver 20,000 public homes a year. We also want to give renters a break to include a three-year freeze on rent increases and putting one month back in every private renter's pocket up to a maximum of 2,000 a year. Minister, even you can't believe at this stage that your housing strategy is working. It's time for a change and I know that many of the people who we see regular polling and also those that I speak to in Dublin West also believe that it's a time for a change of government. Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil policies over the decades have caused this housing crisis and the longer you're in, the proof's in the pudding, the proof is in the statistics, the worse it's going to get. Thank you, Deputy.